Welcome to this fifth and final instalment in the mini lecture series, Marketing Communications, helping you to plan your marketing messages. So finally, I just want to bring your attention when considering how you plan your marketing messages back to the audience and back to the customer's journey. So part of your assessment, you are going to be showing me a customer journey map, which I will be introducing you to this afternoon in the online seminar. But I want you to think about how your messaging links in with the customer's journey. So different messages for different stages of the journey. When should you use more informational messaging? When should you use more emotional messaging? When should you be trying to persuade the audience? When should you be informing them or differentiating your brand from other competitors? Okay, we need to consider when we're delivering valuable con content or when we're trying to stimulate a desired state, allowing the audience to know that they could have something, be something or feel a certain way if they engage with the product or the service. So in marketing, we use a terminology called touch points. Um, so it's very much part of the practitioner's lexicon. It's basically a facility that enables the person, so the audience, to interact with us, the brand. So the brand, um, the, the, sorry, they can be brand instigated touch points or they can be uh, consumer instigated touch points. So a brand instigated touch point might be interruption marketing. So it might be um, targeting somebody with a particular uh, advert to show up in their newsfeed. A customer instigated touch point could be the customer um, doing a Google search and finding your Facebook page or your website and coming into contact with your brand that way. Either way, we need to think about how we communicate with the customer all of those times and what our messaging is so that we appeal to them and that we um, develop a relationship and um, achieve our overall marketing objectives and help the consumer to achieve their objectives. So it helps if we break the customer journey down into three main areas and think about the pre-purchase stage when they are either recognizing that they have a problem or they are perhaps uh, discovering new products or services or, or new ways of improving their life. Then we need to think about the purchase stage. So this could be donating, volunteering, attending, if we're talking about charities. And then post-purchase stage, how do we stay in touch? How do we get them to continue to be loyal, to donate again, to tell their friends to come to our next event? Okay, so again, we're thinking about our messaging in, in these different stages of the customer journey and also the different media that we have to communicate with our customer and how we can blend those two together. So um, I thought it'd be nice to sum up with a quote from pa Pantano and Visoni, cited by Phil and Turnbull. Each touch point represents an opportunity to not only influence a person's journey to purchase by providing information and appropriate emotional content, but also to give people a brand experience. So I thought this statement really summed up all of the content of the, the mini lecture series. We've looked at informational messaging, emotional messaging. We've looked at changing people's thoughts and feelings and creating a, a brand experience for uh, the consumer. And we can do that through our messaging, through the message content, the message type, um, whether we're the, the message creative, whether we're storytelling um, or whether we're using humor or whether we are actually providing information. So after watching the mini lecture series, please now go to the activity that is on Moodle, um, download the document, um, save it as a Google Doc and collaborate in a group watch the campaigns and then analyze the campaigns using the new terminology that's in, been introduced in this section and this will help you to de um, develop a, an understanding and a sort of an analysis um, process where you can actually look at the techniques employed by different brands to communicate effectively in their campaigns and then apply some of this learning to your own campaign. So hopefully this uh, mini lecture series has been informational and um, has helped you and you can understand how it fits in with your assessment. Any questions, please do drop me an email um, or ask me a question in the online uh, session in the afternoon. Thank you.